Hi everyone. In earlier sessions, we have seen how to use labels and selectors and how to use resource limits, all these things. In this session, I'm going to show you how to deploy Tomcat using Kubernetes. Okay. Let me show you the YAML files. This is Tomcat deployment ML file. If you see this, we have api version i am taking app slash v1 and we are, i am taking the kind as deployment and uh, in the metadata i have mentioned the name as tomcat deployment in the labels i have mentioned tomcat okay when we run this deployment this will be the label for the deployment and in the spec i mentioned the replicas as two so that two parts will get created and for those two parts this will be the name okay this will be the name for those two parts and in the selector match labels, I, I given Tomcat. This is just for matching for the kind service. When you have a load balancer or node port, if you want to match against what ports you want to route this, you have to use this. And in the spec containers, I have used container name as Tomcat container and image I'm using Tomcat 8.0. And in the ports I have mentioned container port. If you want, you can mention resource limits as well okay it's up to you if you want you can add the resources as well let me add the resources if you want this is tomcat deployment in the spec containers you can add resources as well fine this is the resources let me arrange the format This is resources. Okay, this is fine. Now limits. Requests and limits. Perfect. Now we have the Tomcat deployment file, right? In the spec containers, I have mentioned the image ports. I am running Tomcat on 8080, and these are my resources. Save this file. Now run the Tomcat deployment. Cube CTL apply hyphen Tomcat hyphen deployment. Perfect. Now see ports. Cube CTL get the pods hyphen wo wide perfect tomcat pods are up and running two pods are running if you want you can see the deployment as well kubectl get deploy hyphen wo wide it has the deployment as well tomcat deployment is also there in the selector we have application equal to tomcat now we have the pod and we have the deployment as well now what we need to do is we need to expose this deployment as a service right for that also i have the service let me open the service file this is my tomcat service file if you see kind is service api version is v1 metadata is tomcat service spec type is load balancer and selector app is this let me show you the other tab the selector app tomcat and uh, deployment match labels should match if you see this tomcat hyphen deployment if you see in the selector match labels app tomcat in the service selector app tomcat should match or else this will not the this will not send the traffic to that particular deployment and in the ports I have mentioned the name as HTTP, protocol is TCP, port is 8080, and target port is 8080. Okay. This is where our container is running, and this is where you want to run your service. If you want, you, you can change the port as well. Okay. Let me run this kubectl apply hyphen f. Okay. Now this is Tomcat service. Now service got created. If you want, you can see kubectl 
get service perfect now the service type is load balancer and in the external ip section we are able to see the load balancer but we need to wait until this load balancer becomes in service go to the load balancer section this is the load balancer section and if you see the load balancer section the status is out of service two parts are there that's why we have two instances showing here sorry two worker nodes are there that's why we have these two instances running those two replicas okay now we need to wait until this becomes in service once it becomes in service we can access that load balancer url from the browser if you want to see how much memory this tomcat deployment is using you can say first see the pod uh, this is the pod and uh, if you want to see the cpu and memory utilization for that pod you can say kubectl top pod pod name this is the pod name perfect it is using uh 1m 1m and memory 70m right now if you want you can say cube ctl you can see the other pod top pod the other pod also you can verify perfect it is using 72 and 70 cpu cores 1m i showed right 1m is nothing but 1 by 1000 it's all around 0.1 only you can see uh deployment for the perfect as well see we have configured this out of that it it needs just it is using this much cpu only okay now we will see whether it is in service or not okay we need to wait until this becomes in service if it is not in service okay one came into service we will see until okay second one also in service now copy the load balancer url from the service perfect this is the one and access it colon 8080 perfect we are able to see tomcat perfect we are able to deploy tomcat through kubernetes now let us do the clean up part just delete the service and delete the deployment as well kubectl delete service service name is tomcat hyphen service the moment when you delete this your load balancer also will go away okay your load balancer got deleted because you deleted the service and then once your service is deleted you can delete the deployments as well cube ctl cube ctl delete deploy delete deploy tomcat hyphen deployment tomcat hyphen deployment perfect this also got deleted thanks everyone for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel